Oh, yeah. Newcastle. So, how... Hello everyone, welcome to the FA Cup fourth round reaction. Uh, so if you don't know already, Newcastle United have been drawn away and they've got to wait for the result between Norwich and Chelsea to, to determine who we'll get in the fourth round. It's a massive, massive ask for Newcastle. On the screen down there, blah, blah, blah. You can see all the other ties as well, but Newcastle were literally fourth, third or fourth ones last out. The full um, reaction of the draw is on my second channel, Newcastle Fans TV spin-off, which is the link in the description. But it's a tough one, you know. Um, we've got found memories of Norwich, you know. We played them last season twice, you know. We played them, obviously, at home. So we've got great, great memories, especially being home, the 6-2 and the 4-3 at home. But can they pull up a massive shock and overturn, excuse me, Chelsea <laughs> at Stamford Bridge? I can't say that really. I think Conte will probably play a little bit stronger side than what he did against uh, Norwich. But you'd expect Chelsea to go through. Of course, we've only just played them last month. At the very beginning of December, we went down 3-1 when Rafa Benitez played that wing-back system. When I remember Chancellor Bemba and Matt Ritchie playing left wing-back as well. But um, I did want a home tie. I'm not going to lie. I would have took anybody out the top six. But you've got to make it with it. It's your luck in the rehearsals. Newcastle actually got Manchester United away in the rehearsal, so I don't know what's better. But you'd expect, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm, I'm not just saying Norwich are out the cup, but as I've touched upon, you expect Chelsea to go through and you, you've got Chelsea away, which is difficult. So I just want to come off the FA Cup and talk, talk about a subject where the local and the national press have picked this up, where Peter Beardsley is alleged to be having a bullying campaign against our winger Yassin Ben Almani. Now, Yassin Ben Almani is, has allegedly also got players back in his statement up as well so what's meant to occur today and I do have to stress these are just allegations what is meant to occur today is that Peter Beardsley had a formal meeting with Lee Charlie and also um, a safeguard uh, officer who works in the club apologize I don't know his name and they've had a meeting today and further investigations will happen later on the week where the club allegedly again will bring in players for meetings to back Yassin Ben Almani's story up that's what uh, the a lot of the media are saying there seems to be, I don't know, I don't want to say truth behind it because it has happened before back in 2003, I think it was, where Biazzi was also accused of the same accusation as well. Accusation, sorry. Now, just looking at Ben Almani, very talented, had loads of football last season. And to be honest with you, he hasn't featured much. He has featured more recently, but but you know, I got a lot of the under-23s and he's not featuring much. So if Peter Biazzi is found guilty... He's got to be sacked for me. Unfortunately, I know he's a legend, but you can't be doing that in your football club. You can't be discriminating against it, other people, you know. You can't discriminate. And if you do found that, that's a sackable fence and doesn't care whether you're a legend or not. It's a it's a, it's a a poor story. I don't want to end it on a negative and we'll, we'll keep you up to date with that. But let us know about the FA Cup. And if you want to check out that live stream, of course, link's in the description. See you later. Bye-bye.